Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here with Heather. Say hello, Heather. Yeah. She's going to be my camera lady. Um, I wanted to do a test today on my batteries and my solar system and see where we were at. Uh, I was pretty sure it was all good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you in here. And um, I'm going to show you a couple things. First of all, um, right now I got 1,208 watts coming in. Uh, 2.1 kilowatt hours on a day. Saying that the batteries are 26.3 volts. I got 43 amps coming in at the moment. 83.7 volts coming in. And the batteries are saying are 94%. We have it on and the system is working. Uh, what I'm going to do... Hold on, Heather. I'll give you that. Hold on one second. Show them the nest there first. What is it, a hornet's nest? All right. Hornets, I believe, yes. Yeah, I just saw one go in. Yeah, I just one just came out, too. Yeah. So we're going to have to get rid of that. Okay, come on back in here. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys... Um, I already did this, but I'm going to show you again anyway. I'm going to turn this on. I'll let you hold that part of it, Heather, so you can show them that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test each individual battery here so there's the positive there's your negative and that's at 6.42 volts so now we're going to kick it up and I'm going to do the whole bank okay so we got the negative here and the positive here and it's 25.8 volts Okay, now I've already gone through um, each individual one and checked the um, the, uh, the whole series because it's like basically I have three 24 volt batteries. So I've already checked all of those and they're all good. Everything is, is tip top on all of those. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is... Actually, let me get my gloves on here. I threw them away. No, i got a pair in my pocket. Well... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the specific gravity of the cell and see where it's at. Um, I've already checked the water level of these cells and everything looks really, really good that way. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in. I didn't get enough water. Hold on. Oh yeah, I did. Okay. Well, I made a mistake. Make up your mind. Okay, so what I got here, saying 1.3, so it's good. Okay, it's just testing out the individual cell for the water. So then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that water back in the battery, and uh, so basically, what that's showing me is my state of charge in that cell is good. I'm going to check every one of the cells here, but um, overall, the system is running fantastic. I don't really have any complaints. Everything has absolutely been fantastic with this um, since I did the upgrade of the system. We haven't... Uh, now here's the thing. Okay, now yesterday was a very, very cloudy day. Let me take that, honey. Can I go inside now? Yeah, you can go ahead and go inside. Okay. Thank you, baby. Take, take All right, here, take. Okay, say goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Take that. All right. So yesterday was a very cloudy day. I ended up getting uh, 1.8 kilowatt hours in on the day. The two days previous to that, I had a 4.8 kilowatt hour day and a 4.6 kilowatt hour day. So while well, today it's more sunny, Right now we're at 2.1 kilowatts. It's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, you know, so it's something to keep up on as far as your batteries. To make sure your batteries are good. Everything's running good. Like right now I got 1,200 uh, watts of power coming in. I got 1,500 watt system total. So it's jacking the power in right now, which is really, really nice. Um, when it's, I'll show you the sky here. I mean, you got some clouds over here, but right now we're in a really sunny stretch. 
Um, we got some clouds over there, but for the most part, it's a pretty sunny day. Uh, we're talking that it's going to be 88 degrees today, so it's going to be a really nice day. Um, you know, it's just staying on top of your system is really, really important. The longer you, you know, as long as you maintain your batteries, you're going to have a longer life with your batteries. And so, um, I'm really pleased. I mean, like I said, we did the upgrade this year, and uh, it's made a world of difference. It really, really has. I would definitely, I mean, some people, 24, next, next step would go up to 48 volts. Uh, system. If I do that, if I do eventually go to a 48 volt system, I'm going to add four more batteries. I want to add four more batteries no matter what anyway down the road. But I got to tell you right now, with the 12 batteries that I have, and um, you know, I only have 1500 watts of solar, it's just it's kicking butt. Now, now I just got it's one up to 2.2 kilowatt hours on the day. So, but like I said, we have it on and we're using it right now. Um, this system has been absolutely incredible. I'm, I couldn't be more pleased. I'm very, very happy. We haven't run the generator at all since I put in the new system. I mean, we haven't run the generator at all. Now, you know, it's, uh, I, the true test is going to be this winter. I'll be honest with you. We're going to, I'm going to find out how well it really works this winter. Um, I don't believe 1500 watts is going to be enough. But, like I said, we're going to have to see what happens. Um, if I have to run the generator a little bit again this winter, I don't think I'll have to run it as much. And what I'm going to do, because the uh, inverter is also a charger, I'm going to have a generator set up over here so when we're not running, the, well, when we are running the house on the generator this winter, it will charge the batteries at the same time. That's um, the ultimate thing that I'm going to do with that. That's going to be another upgrade. I'll do a video on that when we do that upgrade. Um, to that so that it's a combination of both then the ultimate goal guys the ultimate goal is to not run the generator at all ever again winter or summer okay um, in order for me to do that I believe I'm gonna need a 3000 watt system okay and then we'll be producing enough power that I won't have to worry about that at all notice I got a, got a leaf on there, so I'll take that off. Um, so that that's the ultimate goal. Of what I want to be, um, as far as solar goes, I think 15 or th I'm at 1500 watts right now. I think once I get to 3000 watts, I mean, like now, I'll tell you right now, 1500 watts summertime, I am good to go. We don't have to worry about it at all. Uh, batteries are in great shape. The uh, you know the system is is fantastic. It's working great, and we haven't run the generator at all. Now, winter time, it's going to be a different story. We don't get as much sun up here in the northeast. So again, it'd be another test. Now, last year we went um, on a 12 volt system, and we had only the three panels, and so you know I had a 750 watt system last winter, and we ran the generator a lot. <laughs> But I was babying the batteries because I didn't want to burn them out. I didn't want to take them down too far. So um, I'm hoping that we're going to have a better turnout as far as power this winter. We're going to see. I mean, like I said, it's it's all trial and error. It's an experiment to see what works. If I need to add more panels, I'll add more panels. You know, that ultimately, we're going to do what we have to do. So, um, you know, it's it's coming along. It's Like I said, it's a one step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time. But it's an experiment to see what works what doesn't work and I figure basically what I need to do I, I, I would love to get a mounted system up here and get a solar tracker add another 1500 watts of solar add four more batteries so and my phone is ringing hold on one second it's mom hold on guys mom could you hold on one second for me okay so anyway, guys, um, that's what's going on, and uh, so that's what we're working on. And uh, so I figure I got about nine thousand dollars into my system right now. Okay, another four thousand, another thousand for th four more batteries, another two thousand for panels, and then if I put a solar tracker in, so I've got another four thousand dollars, and I'll be—I should be really, really good to go. 
so we'll see what happens um, and we're gonna go from there you know so anyway so that's what the ultimate goal right now we're gonna do with what we have and uh, but it's been working great this summer I couldn't be more pleased batteries are great they're in good good shape and that's what's really important and uh, taking care of your batteries make sure they last okay so I'll be doing monthly checks on them just to make sure that they're all good right now they're fantastic everything is running great okay guys listen have a great day um, any questions comments please share I appreciate the input I really do and everybody have a great day prepper nurse went out for now